future so it's okay. Pero the same pa rin yung result na sila. Yes sir, nasa 69% na. Okay, so yung 69% kasi is medyo maka-question yan in terms of its accuracy. Medyo mababa siya. So yes, siguro, ang pinakamagandang gawin for it to, although kailangan i-report mo kasi yan at level na wala ka pang ginawang tweaking, uh, kailangan mo siya i-report na ito yung initial findings. But then you would also need to identify which of the variables that you have there would need that would, would actually be needed to be committed before they before uh, or ma-identify natin kung uh, pwede pa mag-improve yung ating uh, classification. So for example, sa isang variable dyan na siya pala ang nagdadrag sa overall accuracy that would make our uh, that would uh, would that would make our classifier much effective so from 69% maging 75% ba at 75% ba siya so kailangan natin siyang gawin or we could actually do some feature uh, exploratory data analysis titingnan natin kung meron kong mga missing data or missing data values kailangan mo bang mag uh, kailangan mo bang mag uh, artificial uh, increase of your samples which is tuturo ko ngayon pangatlo is um, nag-ranking ka ba? Mer meron ka bang ginawang uh, ranker yung correlation sa yeah, yung yes sir Opo, may ginawa rin po ako nun sir and then meron naman po akong results sa ranking um, so, meron naman po siyang that only means na kung nag-run ka ng correlation wrappers o ng wrappers o ranking may mga specific variables ka sa data set mo na tinag niya na least important among them Meron po, yes po, sir. So, if in case na ganun, you need to delete them and rerun your analysis, baka mag-improve yung ating, baka mag-improve yung ating uh, accuracy or magbaba yung error natin. Uh, but then, we can still have, kasi I would still require you to do some individual consultations with me within the week so that we can see how we can improve the, ganito, the, the, the analysis. Hindi din pwede, napabayaan ko lang kayo. Of course, kailangan natin Ah, uh, kailangan Actually, mo. Okay, Actually, sir, yung first run ko sa kanya kasi without touching the data, mm -hmm. meron din na tayo like uh, yung yung yung, na, yung name of respondents kasi nakalagay student 1, student 2, student 3, ganun yung yung, yung respondent uh, respondent uh, response, no? So, nung kasi sabi ko dapat siguro naka, naka numeric din ito yung ginawa ko siya kasi nung finish run ko siya, hindi ko siya talaga ginalaw, nag-100% naman siya sa IB, lazy IBK, tsaka sa random days so, so nung nilip, sabi ko, bakit nag 100% talaga. So, tinignan ko ulit yung data. Ginawa ko yung numeric na hat. Yung, 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 Tinumbert ko yung, yung student 1, student 2, yung 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, hanggang 2,000 uh, responses. Yun na, pag run ko siya sa kami ulit, maging 69% siya. Hmm, ganun po yung nangyari. Kasi nag-discretize ka. Discretize ka. Discretize ka. Oo, oh, yun. Sorry. So, and ito yung rule natin. No? Unang-una, even if wala ka pang software na gagawin, wala, wala, hindi mo siya nilagawin sa software, you should by now know the difference between what discrete is and what numeric is. Kasi kailangan itable mo yan kung ano ang mga variables. So, let's say that from the very beginning, uh, let's say systole and diastole. Systole is continuous yan because it's uh, the number of beats yung, yung nasa taas yung, yung baga, yung lang yan, height na lang <laughs> yung height na lang so kapag ang height is in centimeters of course you can expect that it's numeric yes. temperature it's numeric grades it's are numeric unless otherwise ginawa mo siyang uh, ranges for example uh, 89 to 85 means 2 uh, ano, 85 to 89 is 2 uh, Below 85 is 1 90 to 93 That means 3 So kapag ganoon, kapag 1, 2, 3 Represents something Or any number that represents something That only means that it's numeric uh, it, it, That it's discrete Or nominal to begin with no? So binary is a nominal num Is a nominal variable Considering that you have two choices That represents a category of course, um, 
of course, ang gawin mo is you have to maintain, if in case magpo-convert ka ng uh, isang variable na natag siya as numeric, pero nominal or binary or discrete pala, kailangan sa, sa conversion na gagawin mo is mag exempt ka doon. Oh, kailang, di ba, uh, apply to, accept, something like yes. that. Oh, yes. Alala nyo yun na, meron akong specific na analysis na in-exempt ko itong specific variable because this is numeric to begin with. Uh, that also applies to numeric variables when you wanted to convert some variables na numeric, na tag as uh, nominal, pero numeric para. So, for example, yung age. So, syempre, age from 0 to 900, kung nominal ang reading niya, napakaraming bars. Kung baga, napakaraming bars, ganun, yung sa, sa, sa visualization ng bar graph, napakarami niya. But if in case you would interpret it as something like numeric, kasi numeric naman ang age 0, 1, 2, 3, something like that. So, you need to, con you need to convert that into... Uh, in from nominal, nabasa ng weta, into numeric, kasi numeric naman talaga to begin with. So, ano ang magiging guide mo in the conversion process? Mas maganda na meron kang table. An um, example of a table, I'll show you something. Wala pa naman kayo nakikita sa screen ko, ano? Sige, mag-share ako ng aking example ng aking